You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast. Chill! Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. And at this time, y'all already know what the two day is. Today is the two years anniversary of Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast. You know, I'm grateful for, you know, doing this show for two years. And, you know, I thank you for every guest that I have. Every support that I had, even those that did not support me, y'all just make me want to want to go harder. So, once again, I thank you, I thank y'all. So, y'all already know for this segment, I'm gonna talk about my two year journey. If you don't know last year, I'll talk about the one year journey, but this time I'll talk about I'm gonna add on the two years as well. So, so yeah, um. Everybody always asks me, like, how come I had it have it done this sooner? It's for many reasons why I haven't done this sooner because, you know, you know, I was nervous because, you know, I had speech problems. And, you know, I think people was going to listen. People were going to laugh. People was just going to be like, oh, he can't do this. He can't do that. I wasn't confident in myself to do this, to start this project, even though I did many things prior to that, to this, you know, acting, music, stuff like that. And I know this will be a different adventure because I'm um, open up to my to, to everybody. But um, yeah, but you know, I'm glad that I finally took the chance. And y'all already know the story started where originally the Premier Boy podcast was supposed to start in like March 2018. You know, we, me, and the team at the time, uh, we were supposed to do it at the studio, but you know, things didn't work out. Later down the line, September, uh, you know, a girl, a girl named Queen Libra, she had a podcast show. And I asked her, where do you start your podcast? How do you get that platform? And that was she told me about Anchor. And, you know, from there around September 2018, um, I, I wanted to start a podcast, but I just didn't have no idea. They had no name for it and stuff like that. And um, as time went on, I wasn't supposed to start in September. I wasn't supposed to start in October. I was supposed to start in November, December. Then I keep pushing it back. Then I push it back to when by December. That when I started, um, figure out the name. That when I started naming one of the name it, the gym like that podcast. But you know, I officially started on January twentieth. You know, so I'm um, twenty nineteen. And you know, first episode zero, I didn't know. What was the idea for the show? So I did pretty much talk about what we were supposed to have. Knowing, not knowing, that I didn't plan out. I didn't plan out what the plan for the show was for the pilot episode. Then after the episode got done, I felt like something was missing. So as I felt like something was missing, um, I decided to experiment some things to music. So I added music to the show. And I know everybody was risk nervous about it, saying, oh... You don't want to you want end up facing copyright infringement and stuff like that. You know, I was willing to take that risk. And, yeah, and I got that done. Um, like, you know, people heard that pilot episode and they enjoyed it. They said that I had a radio voice and I should keep going. And that's when I kept going. So by episode one, I had a guest. My first guest was my sister, Danielle. Because um, she had the next day. She had a pocket show the next day, so I wanted to put more her pocket show. That was the purpose of her being the first guest. And even though she was on the show, I still didn't know what was the direction of the show. I still would try to figure out everything of the show. So as time went on, I know episode two was the Valentine's Day episode, you know, where I opened up about my love life, you know, about my past love life and stuff like that and stuff like that. <clears throat> on top of that, I, episode two was the episode where I introduced Mr. Jim in fact quote of the day. And but you know, during season one, quote quote of the day wasn't like a main thing for each was it a weekly thing on two season two. But it was just it was just the start of it. So that's how that came together. So we got episode three, which when Mr. Aaron Sand came in to show you, you know. We were talking about his brand, Shot by Sand, and that would re announce the Premier Way podcast. The official announced for the Premier Way podcast. At the time, the co host was Jimmy and him. We didn't have no 
no full idea who the cohort was until you know, of course, later that year, uh, t- September 2019, we added the director to the show and stuff like that. You know, episode four originally was supposed to be Pam the Alive episode, but something happened. Something happened that got on my nerves. So I had to air it out with episode four, and even though at the time the episode did bad, it, it did good now. But at that time, me airing it out was just frustrated. Just I didn't want to need it. Was, it was one of those victim episodes that I was not proud proud about. You know, just me had to vent. You know. Then episode five, I could say, was my first successful episode where I had Miss Pam D. Allow on the show. And, you know, she took about um, finance and stuff like that. And I guess they really liked her on the show because that was my first big successful episode. And I thought after that episode, I thought I was going somewhere. I, I, was, I feel like I was going to the right direction, but at the same time, I didn't know the direction of the show. So episode six was a filler Episode 7 is where we introduce the wrestling prediction that we meant to ever say we start became a family to the show. Um, it's generally in the pocket at the wrestling carousel. And that's how we started that with the WrestleMania, WrestleMania prediction 2019. Of course, episode 8 was Trizar on the show. My sister, Tony Dia, was on the show. And we talked about their, pilot, their um, nightlife experience and about their business that they had going on now. And the episode nine, where we introduced the countdown show, which shockingly, I'll to be honest, that was a filler episode at first because I didn't know what I was doing. But when I found out how successful it was, I was thinking like, "Yo, I mean, I should start doing this every, you know, every every you know, trice 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 of trice of episode, you know." And it was successful. Everybody loved it, you know. So the countdown show became a thing. Then, episode 10, I had my bro, Long Live the Chief, Miley Mel on the show, and stuff like that. And it's funny, because before that episode, me and him have been there connected like, for a very long time until the episode. And, you know, his episode was actually also pretty successful, you know. Shout out to him. Episode 11 and 11.5, you know, with the Mother Day, and then my birthday episode. And <clears throat> around that time... I was going through a lot of personal stuff going on in my life around that time. And yeah, I just wasn't happy. I just wasn't happy. If you heard that episode, y'all could tell that my voice tone, y'all could tell that I was going through something. You could tell that I was going through depression around that time. I just wasn't happy with myself, the situation where I was at the time. And then the other situation I was going, to, going, out, going at, at that time, took it out and a lot of my other personal stuff. So prior to that, I took like a short couple of weeks break until I came back sometime in like the third week of June. So I took a break after my birthday episode to second week in June, second third week in June. I just took a short. I just took a break. Plus, I didn't have no idea for the show at the time where I was headed. So after that, I had an idea. Called um, the unsigned, unsigned new new song, new artists, new music, unsigned hot artists of the day. It was a short, short-lived show where I played music straight through, and I played a um a new artist. And the first two episodes was alright, but then the episode after that was doing really bad, and then a lot of people didn't like it because I played too much music. It was left me talking, so it was. It was bad to the point that dang, like I thought, I thought that I thought this was supposed to be the next thing for you know for my direction of the show, but it turns out it took a really bad turn. So I decided to stick a step back and return to the drawing board. Even though episode twelve around that time, Wild News Unsigned High Artist Show came out, I had my my bro Trophy T on the show. You know, interview him on the show. So episode thirteen, where is when I kind of took a reset. Season one, episode thirteen, where I took a reset on where things to go. So we had my bros, um, 
Mr. Aaron Sands and Dita Retro on the show. And that way we announce the official announcement for the Premier Boy Podcast. You know, episode third, until 14, we have my sister, um, Shy Bliss on the show, talking about her, book, her third book, Life and What She Make It, I mean, Life Make You. <laughs> so then episode 15 was Wrestling Prediction, Some Slam. Episode 16 was, we had Bronk Boom Boom on the show. And Bronk Boom Boom was a different type of guest from, if you no. Know, I gotta say, was I guess before 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 my time with the guests, she was a different guest. She was one of the guests that I did not know personally. My first guest that I did not know personally, which I was really nervous to interview, you know. And and you know she, it, it was it was a fun interview. It was a fun interview. And hopefully in the future, would I, but my downfall was anchor. You know, anchor was my downfall. When the audio was messing up at the time and things just didn't go right and stuff like that, you know. Then, then we had episode seventeen with with Miss Molly Podge, and I really like this interview because the fact that we both were shy, we both were nervous doing this interview for some reason. This was the first interview where both the guests and and the host were shy, but the way she did that interview, she didn't sound like shy at all. She killed it. And she, I go on to say she was always one of my favorite interviews that I had. And then we had the first season one finale, episode 18, it was Count That Show, Volume 2. And I opened up about, you know, the depression that I was dealing with around my birthday. I opened up about that. And, you know, Mr. Jimmy liked the podcast, took a short break. And that when we, we came up with the Premier Boy podcast. So so I'm prepared for season two. And I try to figure out what the, what the first guest going to be. So Mr. Emerson came with an idea like, yo, let me interview you for the first, for season two first episode. So I like, you know what, that's a good idea. So, so episode 19, which was season two, episode one, aka episode 19, Mr. Emerson was, was the guest host interviewing me, like, as a regular interview. And that episode was, I believe, was one of my, one was the, was the most successful episode of season two. Even though season two did pretty good. Then we have episode twenty, episode twenty, which was Shadikwa, you know, my best friend that came on the show, which which is a fan favorite for season two, one of the fan favorite for season two. Everybody love her on the show. Then um, we have episode twenty one, which was Survivor Series, you know, wrestling prediction. Episode twenty two was DJ Retro. Came to the show, and we took my music. It was, that was a pretty good a, a, a shock. That was like one of my shockers episodes that did pretty good. Um, I was shocked that episode did pretty good, really good. I guess more than I suspected. It did really good. You know, shout out to him. And then after episode twenty three, we had my cousin Nana on the show, which um it was a good episode. We're in the but in a feature episode where I'm gonna get to that um about Spotify. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Episode 24 was pretty much the first episode where Mr. Gentleman, like the pocket, took a new direction. And and that when I like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start going with this direction. So we had a guest, a good friend of mine, Miss Felisa White, where she opened up about her life and stuff like that. And it was to the point that the conversation was really personal. And... And after that, and you know, after that episode, and she got real person, she opened up, and I, I appreciate her to being the first guest to really, really open up. Cause no, no guest before her did open up at all. But shockingly enough, not only that, she was after that episode that when Mr. Chairman like that po- podcast started charting, and I didn't know. And the thing about me being charted, I didn't know this until. Later down the line, when I actually realized that I was charting, and I was shocked. On top of that, I'm turned out I was in the top 50 um, podcast shows in the U.S. Um, doing um, entertainment news at one point, so I was shocked. Like, oh wow! And I didn't know this. I didn't know it till later. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, and I was up there for many weeks. So, 
this new direction continue when I had my first podcast crossover when I had um Chrissy Christ on the show, which was episode twenty five. You know, and um she was in it was a really good episode. I really liked it. And um, she, she was actually one of my favorite guests for season two. She actually, yeah, she actually is my favorite guest for season two. I got to say that. She was just so amazing. And you know, and it, after that episode, it, it, after those two episodes back to back, it made me realize that I had to step up my game. I had to step up my game. Then, of course, after that was the one-year anniversary episode, which was... But sure, you know, I do, I do thank everybody, you know, for the shout out they did last year, and the shout out for this year, you know. So then, so this is this is a part of the story that where we talk about the second half of season two until now, because this is a story that I have not told yet. So, so we're gonna start with um, around the around you know episode twenty six with um. Was the Royal Rumble episode called the Rest of the Prediction? After that episode, we have another podcast crossover with Jay Siobhan. And, you know, she became a cool, good friend of mine, you know. And she, she was another episode where she opened up with a really good episode, a really good episode. She opened up a, in a real good interview. And I appreciate her, you know, for the support and you know, coming to my show. And then around this time, this is where she told me that I was open to come to her show, and she turned out to be my first, for first, my first show that my first, I guess my first podcast appearance on her show, Surviving the Journey. And you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that show. My only issue with that, my only issue with the interview, it wasn't even her fault. Anchor, Anchor kept messing up, and. I was so upset behind that because it was a really great interview, but Anchor just messed the audio was terrible and it just messed up everything around that time and yeah. So of course, of course we had um after that we had um the Valentine's Day episode and then we had the season um two myth finale. So after that um. So, you know, my show was on break, and I tried to figure out who was the next episode. So, nobody knows this. So, so I was already planning this show called Date and Talk. You know, it was supposed to be I did with me, talk about relationship on the show and stuff like that. And my first guest was a girl that, she lived in Atlanta. Cause I, I, met, I met her probably around the time in, Mar- in February. Met up with her, and we spoke, and she said she wanted to be on the show, and she wanted to talk about relationships. So I was like, cool. So the idea of dating talk started happening, and but it was not released in time. I told the girl put the um, come on, but but it never happened. So also around that time, I I joined a I joined a team I, I joined a podcast team by the name of the Corop. You know, the Corop is a podcast team where. We have many podcasts around the world. We t- we talk about ideas to grow our brands, um, share each other's shows, and get feedback and stuff like that. And um, one thing I can say about the co-op that they were who what they helped me for is opening up more and going for a lot of opportunities. Everybody know me, they like I'm a shy dude, and I'm not and I don't like asking for help. And stuff like that, and and sometimes when I see an opportunity, I don't always go for it. But you know, doing the team, doing that team, and you know, joining up with them and learning, and I guess I guess learning about the all the other pocket hosts, you know, it was I felt it was a good opportunity, and I took it and, and I went for it, and I met a lot of people. And I think I think them because they play a big part of my show when we get to season three. But once again, you know, thank you know, thank you know, thank you know, thank to the core for giving me the opportunity to be a part of the team. And yeah, I appreciate that. And it's only up for near. So you already know. Um, around this time, with the gym and like the pocket was planning to come back in March. I believe the end of March. 
It wasn't supposed to be the original plan of they didn't talk, but instead I I put Sharice um to come back on the show to my second book. But then the unthinkable happened, and then that's when the pandemic happened. And um and as time went on in March, we just getting a lot of news about, you know, people dying and the virus going around and stuff like that. So I came back a week early to I got to announce to talk about, you know, I talk about the, you know, the pandemic and that, you know, and stuff like that. And um, then the unthinkable happened with me. I I got an um, anxiety attack around that time based on everything that's going on in the pandemic and the fact, and the fact that I thought I was sick. So I had COVID. I thought I was sick. With a so throat turned out whether COVID is just... Um, me having a panic attack, uh, anxiety attack to a panic attack, and stuff like that. And um, and I felt that that day thing changed for me. I mean, if y'all want to hear more about that story, listen to episode fifty nine. You know, uh, listen to episode fifty nine about the that whole story about what happened with me and um and the anxiety attack. So, you know, just like the package return for the second half of season two. Um, our first, so we had a pandemic episode. We um, basically talk about when I opened up about um, what happened to me with the anxiety attack and, uh, and panic attack and stuff like that. So I, at, at first it was a one part, but I turned it into a two part. I redid the first pandemic episode and I, made, I turned it into a two part episode. And how that was 30 or 31. 32, we had Shop List back on the show. Talk about Life of What You Make It, I mean, Life Make You Part 2. Yo, get her book, y'all. Her book is dope. She, she even got a new one out right now, Sweetest Taste of Almonds, and she got another book coming out as well. So pick up a book. It's an amazing book. Episode 32, we had, I believe, with the WrestleMania episode, the Wrestle Prediction. And then episode 33 was, um, I believe, what the first, I, be, I believe, what the first episode of, wait. Yeah, 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 30, no, episode 34. Episode 33 was uh, WrestleMania. Episode 34 was the first episode of The In Talk where we had CeCe on the show. And it was a good interview. And the fact that, you know, everybody said they enjoyed it. So if people said they enjoyed it, and that's when going forward, we decided to, to make it like a, a preview show, keep it going. So episode 35, we have... Oh, but 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 I gotta take that back a little bit. I gotta rewind it a little bit about this day in talk. So turns out I changed the name day in talk to date date talk date 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 night talk podcast. And uh, because day in talk was taken by a podcaster by the way, uh, day in talk with Kelly. She she had an amazing show. Um, I should hopefully I'll be her show in the future. Hopefully I bring her to the show like the podcast real soon so I decided to change the name and the whole concept of the show of the day, um, date night talk pod, day night talk show and the concept of the show my idea of the show was to be on a date with a girl and interview her and it would have been dope if this idea would happen without the, without COVID without the pandemic that would have been a fire idea but you already know COVID happened so so yeah, so yeah, so it turns out the girl that who had originally planned for PTV on the show could not happen, you know, due to COVID, so it never happened. So instead, I got CeCe on the show, and which is now she got a podcast show called From the Mind of CeCe, so check it out right now. Dope show. I was on the episode, but we going to get to that when I get to that. But yeah, so that was episode 34. Here's what thing is interesting. So episode 35... Day night talk was supposed to come back again, but um, due to what's going on with me with the uh, anxiety and the panic attack, and then I turned out I had um, acid reflex and stuff like that, I decided to take a break from everything because my voice was messed up and my voice was sore, and I just had to figure out a way to recuperate and come back. So a month went by and I didn't take I didn't have to do no episodes because you know I had the post night or drip and that's a reflex. It was, it was starting to get bad, so I decided to what I was gonna do was I was gonna end season two early and stuff like that. So 
So as I'm coming back on the show, I got invited to be on Shara and Karaoke with Angelica and Coupon Creeping from the co-op. And at the time, I wasn't sure how 100 how I was with my throat. So I'm gonna keep it 100. I mean, keep on creeping and Angelica don't get mad. But I was gonna I was gonna cancel on y'all because I wasn't I didn't feel I was 100. percent But thankfully, I'm glad that I didn't cancel and. I did, I'm glad I didn't cancel when I came on the show, and it felt good to be on your show, and it was good to be, yeah, keep bringing me back for many more. And um, and then it turns out I feel like I feel like when after I did that show, I came to a realization. That, Yo, I think I'm doing. I think my voice is doing better. Maybe I could, maybe I could actually do some episodes again. So I came back, and um. And it's funny because I said I put the end on three episodes. Turns out season two became my longest episode, my longest season. So episode thirty-five was with Venom B, and she, and I'm not gonna get the personal story between me and her, but it was let's just say it was a pretty fun episode doing it with her. And then episode thirty-six was with a podcaster by the name of Brianna Life of Smith. You know, amazing woman with an amazing story. Um, check out her podcast show, Black Girl with Purpose. Amazing show. Uh, she she was actually one of my second favorite guests on for season two, and she was amazing. So then we had the third installment of Date Night Talk. Um, Date Night Date Night Talk podcast, and we had Lily on the show, which was a pretty fun episode. You know, cool girl. You know, shout out to her. And then we have our final guest for season two, which was Miss Natalie Armstrong, amazing woman right there. And wherever she at right now, keep doing your thing, keep your head up. And then um, we had the season two finale, which was my birthday episode. And yeah, and that's when I turned 33. So um, yeah, so season two and then as season two was ending. Um, Premier Boy, Premier Boy season, second half of Premier Boy came back, and then for the longest time we was on Premier Boy with the, I believe with the quarantine series, so we was focused on that and the gym and as I was doing Premier Boy, my voice was terrible, my voice was terrible, like the the my throat was making um, we had having a lot of sounds keep killing my throat. If y'all heard the audio for the Premier Boy podcast, y'all can hear my throat like really bad. Like really hoarse, really bad, and um, yeah, it was crazy. So then we came back for season three. Um, it was the end of June, and I first came with Banger, amazing artist right now. A new vibe is out right now. She got a new project coming out. Look out for her. She was my first guest for season three, and then this way the co-op played a big part in season three. So the first guest we had for the co-op was Anthony. From the Beautiful Feet podcast, you know, dope brother right there, man. We talk about wrestling, and that was a cool episode. We got deep, you know. I opened up about you know me getting saved during the pandemic, and you know, you know, and then shout out to him. Episodes, I think episode forty-two. I gave an update about you know my health and and what's going on in America right now, you know, with Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. And then episode 43 was Angelica from a little bit of everything with me podcast. Shout out to her. That she was she she was dropping a lot of a lot of um jewels that episode, man. She was dropping a lot of facts that episode. And shout out to Angelica. Episode 30, 44 was my guy from junior high school, Mook Dollars, came on the show. You know, dope dope artist, check out his single, do the right thing out now. So after that episode, the unthinkable happened. So, y'all, y'all remember, you know, I talked about my cousin episode, episode 23. For some odd reason, it got taken off of Anchor. So, I was so confused about Ryan would take it off and stuff like that. So, and it was just weird. So, I, I decided to repost it. And I was like, why, why did they take this episode off? I'm confused. It wasn't nothing, nothing bad about it. I'm, like, really confused, you know. I'm really confused about why they did that. So, and I, 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 I ignored it. So, episode 45, we had Q 
coupon, Miss Coupon Cream Pen for CQP moments, you know. Shout out to her. Shout out to her show, you know, shout out to her and stuff like that. So episode 46, where I talk about my night nightlife journey as a promoter. But the weird thing happened. Spotify contacted me with a, with a lady from um, the RIAA and told them to take my packets off on Spotify. So in my head, I'm like, why did they, they take my packets off? Apparently, this is one of the songs that I played on my show. She had a copyright. So I'm like, oh, damn, copyright infringement. So around that time, it's kind of where I kind of started losing my focus. I just kind of just wasn't happy with, uh, with everything else that was going on at the time. Including, you know, the anxiety and the, and the acid reflex and stuff like that. It started taking a toll on me. And I was just like, ah, oh, this is too much. But of course, um, but then after that happened, season three, first half of season three, <clears throat> just wasn't doing, it just wasn't doing as great as it was supposed to be doing. Like, don't get me wrong, yo. First half of season three, we had a lot of amazing guests. A lot of amazing guests. But I don't know what was going on, but the numbers were doing really bad for some reason. Um, Spotify, since Spotify took off the show, off their platform, and the thing about it, a lot of my listeners is Spotify listeners. So... It just messed up my show completely from the from the last couple of episodes, and it was just like, dang, I was I was just really like down behind all that. So the episode forty seven was, um, I believe was Summer Slam. Then episode forty eight was you no know, another podcast um person you no know, Miss Michelle Miller from Mentors on the Mic. You know she she's a dope. Her show is dope. Though Constance, she's an amazing guest. You check out her, check out her show. And then um episode 49, I addressed the Spotify situation. So after that, I decided to like, you know, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a short break. I gotta rethink on what to do for the second half of season three. I gotta think about what to do and how can I how can I get my show back to the way it was. I really had to rethink about everything. So the first thing was stop stop using anchor as a recording. Um platform and start recording on zoom and it turns out when i made that step when i would get to when i get to episode 50 episode um 50 so when i get to second half that was the first step second step was i ordered a mic i know lily always told me yo can you need a mic <laughs> and i'm like you know what i'm after the episode with lily i'm like you know i'm gonna get a mic the, the crazy thing about this thing was i ordered a mic in june I didn't get my mic to September. So I was like, so everything was just a delay. Also around that time, I thought it, I thought it felt like, you know, you know since I, since I'm, since my job was closed during the pandemic, which was officially around that time, she completely shut down. I got, I like, I got to do something. I got to make podcasting my number one job for now. So I decided to order a new laptop and all, all a new setup so to make this more like an office feel since this will be my thing for a long for a very long time for a while. So 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 yeah. So then episode 50, 50 came and I brought back I brought back Miss Pam the Allow who was on episode five and and I don't know what happened, but the numbers came back. Um the episode I believe this shot episode would believe with the biggest episode of scene three. The biggest episode of scene three. And I was just like, wow. And and then I, I guess after that, the momentum continue. Episode 51, we had my bro Broma from the, the Broma show, who also part of the core op. Um, episode, this, his episode was a shocking episode. Grew crazy. Like that man episode, dude, dude got a real, you know, he got a voice made for radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check him out. He this is a, he a dope individual, man. Check this dude out. He got a, he he made for radio, man. Shout, you know, shout out to him. So episode fifty two with Amber. She was talking about her brand, um, which was another which was another. The thing about second half of season three shocked shocked me because the numbers was just 
crazy. It was just growing out of nowhere. And and I think people are tuning in a lot more. I guess, and also the, the fact that I got back on Spotify and um, I got added to, um, you know, Amazon Music and then added to um, Authority and stuff like that. It was just like, things started growing again. I'm like, wow, um, this is crazy. So we had Amber on the show and and she, she it was a dope show with her. Next we had Mathia Magia Daxon. You know, you know, she had three. She had three podcast show. She effing did that. Silver Red JB podcast and Decon Poly podcast. And I could say that she was one of my favorite guests for season three, like off the bat. And and the, the fact that the connection with me and her doing the episode, I was just like, wow. It was just like, wow. Amazing person, yo. Shout out to her. You know, keep doing your thing, girl. Keep doing your thing. So then after that, um. This is what, and after that episode, we started charting again. So we started charting in the, in the top 200s again. And I was just like, wow, um, this is crazy. We just slowly again, but so we slowly, we basically slowly got our listeners back. And so slowly, um, everything slowly started coming back to the way it was. So this went, so, so since, um, no, Date Night Talk was a fan favorite, I brought them three more episodes, you know. So, Episode 54, Shadikwa came back on the show for Date Night Talk. Episode 55, we had Naya on the show. And 50, episode 56, we, Amber came back for Date Night Talk. And that when I'm announced that we had Date Night Talk podcast drop in in March. So stay tuned for that, y'all. Also, you know, I've been doing a lot of spinoff shows now. So I'll drop another spinoff show called The Old School Show. With myself and DJ Retro. And the funny thing about the old school show was um the original name for the old school show was Um I Love Music. And the concept was originally was just talk about strictly about music. And um I said to myself, you know, nah like nah, yo, I don't know. I, I need to I need to do a, I need to do a show with a pair to a pair to people that type of that people would love. And a lot of things people love is nostalgic. <laughs> people love nostalgic. People love old school. So, and I like, and I need a good co-host for this. So, I will go get put Mr. Aaron Singers again. But he already doing, he already doing um, the wrestling thing. I need to put somebody else to work out of my team. So, my audience will know more about them without just the Premier Boy podcast. So, I decided to add DJ Retro. You know, my bro, my DJ. And he old school. He love old school. So he he perfect fit for the show. So we lost the old school show. First episode of the old school show was um the black sip clone we brought Mr. Amersan to the show. <laughs> so the second second episode I believe was um uh, what happened to RB groups. And I tell you that that episode did crazy good. It it was just wow. And y'all already know the Oku show is every fourth Sunday, every fourth or fifth Sunday of every month. You know, check it out. So, um, so outside of the Oku show, um, we we was on episode fifty seven, which was um, another wrestling prediction show, which was um, I believe it was Survivor Series. And then episode fifty eight, we had Lacey on the show. You know, my good friend Lacey, I knew her for a very long time from the start of my um, promoter promoter's journey. And we did basically about her um her um business and stuff like that. She's doing big things. Shout out to her. She also returned on the show for Date Night Talk. So look out for her. And then of course we got the um the finale. Basically when I talk about my 2020 um 2020 experience. And um everything in 2020, you know, with um everything about I mentioned about the podcast shows, I mentioned about um the anxiety, COVID, everything. We basically talk about that episode. So let's fast forward to now. Um, where I'm at now, as y'all know, season four just got released, and the first two episodes is already out now. Where we got um, Cynthia from our collaboration station on the show, which is also a part of the co-op, and then and then Naya came back on the show as a as a guest host of Magella, like the podcast for Date Night Talk special, which is the pilot episode of, of Date Night Talk podcast. Like I said, is um coming out in March, which got um Lacey, I think most likely the first episode. Um, and yeah, this is where we at now, two year anniversary. 
Um, I know um, I'm going to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, it's a long journey. I appreciate everybody. And yeah, um, I ho- hopefully next year, I don't have to do something like this again next year. My goal for next year anniversary is to have a celebrity guest. That one I want. I want to have a celebrity guest for my um, next anniversary episode, next, for my 30th anniversary. And um, that would be so dope. Yo, Ryan Leslie, I'm calling you out, my name, bro. I want you to be on my show next year for my 30th anniversary. Everybody, it's just. If y'all, if y'all listen to this and you hit it to the end, and I say, and I want y'all to go under Ryan Leslie pictures, tag Mr. Jam Like the Pockets under Ryan Leslie, and tell him to hit me up so he could be on my show for next year anniversary show. That would be one thing that I would really want, yo. You know, that's one dude that I look up. You know, my favorite artist of all time. I look up to that man. His business vibe, his business stuff, and you know, yeah. Um. I like it. I get right listen to the show next year, or or sometime in season four, season five, or next year at a virtual show. Let's get right Leslie some kind of way. Let make that happen, y'all. Um, and also, I, w- I want the show to go more international, which I want to talk about. Like, um, right now we're on seven seven thousand plays right now. I thank you everybody for listening. I appreciate that. We on almost twenty eight countries. That is amazing. We are almost 20, I believe we are 25, and that's amazing still, you know, um, they, thank y'all, you know, we're on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, um, Google, our Radio Republic, Stitcher, Bleaker, Pocket Chaser, Authority, we just got added to Authority, Amazon Music, YouTube. A mini, we on a lot of platforms. I can't. I don't even know how many platforms we on. I think we on eighteen platforms right now. We on a lot of platform, and it's a lot. I just want to say thank y'all. I just want to say thank everybody for taking the time to listen to this my podcast two year journey. I know, of course, it was always rambling. Y'all already know me. I, I ramble a lot, <laughs> but I thank y'all for you know listening to me and being with me for this long. I appreciate it, y'all and. Yeah, I mean, like I said, doing the journey, uh, I didn't think people were going to listen. I didn't think people were going to pay attention. And I thank y'all, because, you know, the purpose of the show is for everybody to tell their story and for all of those to be inspired by the story. Also, to them to hear my story and they be inspired by my story, which is why I, which is why I do stuff like close to the day and I do stuff like Nice stuff, and also shout out to, to I also, I also not sure anybody know, but I was some executive producers on some podcast shows. Now I was one episode for um, Coaching Out Loud with Daya Power. I was executive producer on that show. I was executive producer on Chidiqua show, and I'm about to be executive producer on you know, um, King Talk by Sands. And also shout out to everybody that said that I inspired them to start a podcast. Yeah, y'all don't know how much of how you know that's I mean that's crazy to me, y'all. I'm I'm through in shock when y'all told me that. You know, a lot of y'all told me that a lot of times that if it was for you, Ken, I would not never did a podcast. And hearing that, you know, hearing that, you know, it means a lot. And it, I, like I said, I never thought that I could be somebody to inspire others. You know, or this all the stuff that I've been through inspire others, you know, I, I never, I, that's still unbelievable to me, y'all, like, but, that's really unbelievable to me, but, I'm grateful, I'm humble, and I'm thinking, I want to continue to inspire y'all, so we all could get to the top, you know, uh, and we all could get to the top, and um, I thank y'all, and thank you to every guest that came to my show, like, y'all mean a lot, man, and, like I said, I thank y'all, and let's get back to the counter show, I'll be right back. You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 4. Yeah!